that bring the first league game of the season coming up against QPR? How are you feeling going into that one? Happy to start. Um, also, if it's just after three weeks uh, preparation, but happy to start. It's my second start with the uh, with Forest. Very exciting. I remember the last year against uh, West Brom, the 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 the, the atmosphere, and we play well. We didn't deserve the the result, but we lost. So it's really important to start in a right with the the league. Obviously, the the defeat in the cup last week wasn't the best start to the whole season. But how how have the squad reacted to that? Yeah, you're right, but um, we have some circumstances. Um, many absence, many players not ready, and um, many clubs with this um, kind of uh, start of problems. So um, it's much better now, and um, finally the league starts, and the players they are absolutely focused on uh, on Saturday. You said after that, that Barnes again that the players probably weren't quite as ready as you would have wanted them to be. How much further along are they with another week in training? It's it's not about the week, it's about the game and the rhythm of the game. So we need to be um, absolutely as a team ready to uh, to play as we know and to, to try to get um, our target. The target is to to play for the victory. Uh, was the case last week. Unfortunately we didn't then play good enough and Bartney deserves this victory and um, now it's an, another competition, the league starts and um, we will be ready to, uh, to face a good team with a, a good football. Uh, the difference between this year and the last season is um, the game away and without fans uh, so we will um, we will go there with um, a big expectation, of course. As you said, QPR are a team that likes to, to play football on, on the floor. How are you going to counteract that on Saturday? Yeah, good um, football from the manager, and um, they have done many good performances and results last season, and of course will be exactly the same. So. We, we know exactly um, which team we will play, which football they will, uh, they, will, uh, they will play as well. So we will be ready for that. And team news wise, how, how are the squads shaping up? Obviously, Joe Lolly and Joe Wall were mm, certainly absentees last Just uh, Thiago Silva is out and um, the all um, order available for the session tomorrow. Go for it, yeah, can I just go for it, yeah, nice to have you. Uh, just a couple of questions from me. Um, what do you think you've learned off the back of how last season ended? I know a lot has been made of how the season ended for yourself and Forest. What do you think you've learned about yourself, for the players, or even the championship? A lot of things. So I'm not sure to, um, to have time enough to answer about um, the all things I learned, but I learned a lot. And um, of course, the issue of this last season was tragic for for us. But uh, um, it's a new chapter. It's, um, we need absolutely to learn about our mistakes, and um, we need now to look forward to be positive. And uh, it's a new season, new chapter. Look forward. And just be positive, but of course, uh, don't forget what happened. Don't forget um, to be consistent. The, a lot of details, uh, but was a bad experience. But in all experience, you have some positives to um, to get out. Do you think it puts you yourself under additional pressure this season, knowing how last season panned out in, in the playoffs, or? promotion places for, for so much of the season and, and the way that it ended, does it put your position, you yourself, under additional pressure this year? The manager is Forrest is always under pressure, always. But I don't remember when 
Nottingham Forest played the la last time the playoff and uh, the direct promotion. So we just need to know who we are and to focus on our job. Of course, the last season, after two games and just one point, I was under pressure. At the end of the season, with the last game, I was under pressure. I'm still under pressure after and before start the season and will be the same because the manager in Nottingham Forest, but for all managers, probably more in Nottingham. And I'm not sure a lot of managers start two league uh, two years in a row, back to back. So it's important for me, a good start, but it's important for all managers to have some good result because some result, good result give you more time. Have you had conversations with the players about the minimum that you expect for this season? And has that been filtered down from the boardroom or the chairman about where you want or, or the expectation of where Forest should be finishing this, this season? We are not just a friend. It's our job. We are professional. Every single players and people working for Nottingham Forest know what you need to do. So we are here to do our job, to do our best for our goal. Our goal is to, uh, game after game, to give our best. And for sure, last season we fail and we need and we change different things. So we will know if this year we learn about our mistake. So in a roundabout way, you're saying that a club like Forest minimum should be aiming for the playoffs. Yeah, so tell me when the last time Nottingham Forest played the playoff. It was 15 years ago. So a long time. And 22 years without a promotion, it's a long time. Very long time. So when it's long time, we have many, many reasons. So we just need to be just humble and to work hard because other teams, they have the same target than you. It's just final one, Sabri. The, the key to a successful championship season, some would say uh, that it's consistency at the start, at the finish. Uh, <laughs> not, not only. <laughs> not only, but it was one of the, the key elements for you. Yeah. After seeing how West Brom and Leeds finished, mixed fortunes probably for, for the pair, really, and, and Brentford in particular as well. Uh, what would you say is the, is the key to having a successful championship season? Uh, for me, if we are looking just one second about the last season, very logical to see uh, these three teams in Premier League, so um, Leeds, West Brom and uh, Fulham. Very logical for the football they, they play, for the squad, for the club, for the budget. So no, no surprise, no surprise. They were the two first teams very consistent. So in Championship, more than the other league, you need to be consistent. Thank you. Good luck this week. Thank you. Late arrival, Angela. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. No, I apologise. No, don't worry. Maybe we start early. Yeah. No? Yeah. Just on time. Really um, just a real couple for me. Um, we spoke at the beginning of last season, you talked about it being a learning curve. How excited and how different do you feel now that you've had that season's experience? Very exciting because to start a, a, a one more season with uh, Forest is very, um, very important for me. Not because um, happened what happened the last game, uh, especially because um, I am exactly where I am. I want to be, and uh, this club is just uh, magic, and we have a lot of things to do. The last year, uh, the, the the end. The issue was absolutely tragic, extremely disappointed for many people. So now it's a new chapter. We just want to, um, to look forward, to be positive. New season, very exciting. We start in a difficult place to play against a good team. But um, the players, they know exactly what uh, we want to do. Yeah, we bring um, very good players, quality players. Um, very happy with the, uh, the new players. And how are they settling in? Quite a lot of new additions, and as a, a manager and coach, that can be quite a challenge to get them to bed in, particularly when 
particularly in merging with people that have been here already, more established team? Yeah, but the, 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 the target for the manager is to build a team, uh, a competitive team for the new season. So uh, um, the new sign, the good squad, uh, look nice. Mm, it's, it's good, but it's not the most important. The most important is to, to, to put on the pitch all the time the best, the best team, the best eleven, and um, to play the best football and to achieve the best result. Um, and to be consistent, as I said just now, because this league is, um, is tough, very difficult, and we need absolutely to learn about our mistakes. We're doing a preview tonight, we've asked fans, we've asked former players, predictions, I think it's an awful question for me to ask you, what is your ambition, what are your hopes, what are your expectations? To start, to start in the right way. The last season we start uh, uh, playing a good game, but uh, with the last at home, we play away, we just want to to play, but to be um, competitive from the beginning. And we know the problem, but the whole team, they have the same problem, but we want to be competitive from the first, uh, first game.